two. I am Pinstar, and this is Pinstar Plays RimWorld Alpha 14. So RimWorld's a game that's been out there for a while, and I've been wanting to get my hands on it, uh, but I just have not had the chance. Uh, with full schedule and gaming uh, going, what uh, going around and whatnot, games coming out, coverages, long-running series, and what have you. But uh, a golden opportunity presented itself when the devs gave me a, uh, um, a press key uh, for their first Steam release version. So previously, RimWorld was not available on Steam, but starting, well, today, as of the uh, day that this episode is being released, um, it is. Uh, it is still early access, it is still in development, but man, is this game gigantic huge it's a it is a colony builder that is like a mixture of of uh, prison architect and dwarf fortress i played dwarf fortress before i love dwarf fortress so yeah this this game has potential i'm still learning it so yeah don't take this as a as a strategy and tactics but i've learned enough of it to at least seem somewhat competent uh, for those of you wondering where uh, where the heck Stardew is, don't worry, Stardew will be back on Monday as normal. So, let us get started with the new colony. Now, there are three main scenarios that you can choose from, plus you can uh, create your own uh, brand new custom scenario. Uh, but for the sake of brevity here, I think we're going to start with one of the pre-made ones. Now, the classic one is the Crash Landed. Um, Crash? Cra cra crash oh it's all just one word right um but you know what i think for the sake of simplicity because again i'm still learning the game um we're gonna go with the rich one rich explorer so the difference between these two is this one you start with three people but have less stuff but you have more manpower rich explorer you have a lot of stuff that you get to start with but you're only one person uh, so you need to be mindful of that. There's also a tribal one um, where you start with a low-tech native tribe on the on the planet. Um, I don't know the game well enough to do that, so let's do this one, shall we? Now, one of the really awesome things about this game is that it is led by an AI storyteller. Essentially, the game has random events, but they're not, strictly speaking, random. They actually follow a, a progression. Uh, now, they are different every time. They are random in that sense, but they are not so much random as in, like, you know, something horrible happens um, or something wonderful happens, you know, you therefore lose or win the game instantly. Uh, they follow a bit of a progression, or, well, they can, depending on who you choose. Cassandra Classic is just that. She's a classic, steadily increasing curve of challenge and tension. So the early game events will be little drops in the bucket, probably not going to make or break you by themselves unless you're already screwing up. Uh, but as time goes on, the events and the stakes get bigger and bigger and harder and harder. Um, and unless you keep up with it, it will overcome you. Then we got Phoebe Chillax. Um, she, uh, she follows a similar pattern as, uh, Cassandra. Her thing is, though, that she has lots of time in between disasters. So, even if a real nasty one comes down the pipeline, you've got all the time in the world to recover from it before the next one shows up. And then you got Randy Random, who does whatever the F he wants to. Uh, we're gonna go with Cassandra Classic, just, uh, just, just to, uh, keep things logical here. Now, as far as what difficulty level, um, yeah, I'm not that good at it yet, but I also want to uh, be entertaining and also give the uh, possibility of dying horribly in this uh, Pinstar Plays episode. So let's go with Rough. I'm sure that's a wonderful uh, level to start out with uh, on my, what, second or third game? <laughs> And you can uh, randomize the seed here, just with a different word. Vlad, yeah, there's there's a good seed to go with, Vlad. We'll go with the Vlad seed. All right, so it generates a random world for you to pick from, and you can ch either choose where your landing site is. A lot of, there, the, no two landing sites are the same, and they are not created equal. Starting out in the middle of the, uh, um, ice out in tundra out here is not as easy as say for example starting out in the middle of the plains out here uh for me 
What's this darker green stuff? Tropical rainforest. Yeah, why not? Let's 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 drop ourselves off in the tropical rainforest. And now we must choose our starting colonists, or rather, we can randomize them. Um, so every colonist, and the game is very, very detailed in terms of what it keeps track of. Uh, every colonist has a backstory, they have traits, uh, they have skills, certain skills they have passions for, which allows them to learn more skill in that skill faster because they're actually interested in it. Um, and they can have, they can come with uh, health issues. They can have pre-existing relationships. They can develop new relationships. I guess there's almost like a splash of The Sims in this, but boy, it's a lot more hardcore than The Sims. Um, eh, this guy, uh, no. Let's try let's try something. All right, what do we got here? So um, now certain things, depending on their on their backgrounds, they can be incapable of certain tasks. Uh, so no matter what, she will never um, in, uh, be artistic. Now she's got a burning passion for animals, even though she's not that good with them. Uh, good at shooting, so she keep herself defended. Medicine, not bad. Construction, growing. Uh, ooh, only a one in cooking. That's that's not good because she has to cook for herself. Because uh, right now at the beginning of the game, she you get nobody else but her. They have to be self-sufficient. Let's try someone new. Uh, let's see. No, too many incapable ofs. Oh, God. Artery blockage. No, thank you. Uh, incapable of, of caring. Yes, this guy does not give an F. <laughs> um, and yeah, too, too many low levels there. He's, he's, a, he's a bit of a combat monster. Uh, awesome if we had like the three columnists set up. He'd be our guardian here, but no, not so much. What do you got? Uh, pretty and steadfast. Uh, not so good with the construction. That's not good. But mining, uh, crafting's not bad. Research is good. Social's good. Melee. Oh, she can learn how to melee. Medicine, again with the cooking, though. What do we got here? A nudist. We have a nudist. A steadfast nudist. Uh, let's see what we got here. Medicine, animals. Actually, this one's not too bad. Construction. Not so good with the crafted, but she's interesting, which means she'll she'll level up with it as she does it. You know, I think I'm going to go with her. Um, uh, so we're going to go with Chili. That, that is a wonderful, wonderful thing for a, uh, a nudist. It's uh, Chili. All right, Chili. Uh, story writer, drifter. Interesting. Plus artistic, minus artistic. So the artistic is just kind of right there. All right. Time for the nudist Chili. Let's see if she can survive. By the way, this uh, the graphics here are uh, more simplistic. Uh, so the fact that she's uh, a nudist and might be walking around with no clothes on does not mean this is an, uh, a, a uh, more adulterated stream because it's not much to see. Anyway, the neurostimulators, hollow games, and free orgies were never enough for you, you, you hedonistic nudist. You wanted more. The grit and consequence of real life. Talk about the history books. You want to know what real challenge and consequence felt like or feel like. Now, after a journey of decades in crypto sleep, you're landing on this unknown rim world. Real consequences await you. Okay, so here she is. Boop. Chili and her. She get you get a free random thing. A uh, pilot, the cat, another kitty. Hello, kitty. Now, what does Chili have on her? Alright, so she actually is wearing real clothing. <laughs> she might discard that at some point. Um, so she's got her skills, got her needs. <laughs> got a sm small uh, moodlet debuff uh, for... Uh... Well, what the hey? Well, uh, is there a way to make her drop trow? Yes, there is. There.
There, now she's all happy. Well, she should be. Cold! Heh! <laughs> I'm uncomfortably cold. Okay, so the... Alright. It's not... Uh, hang on, let's unforbid all of these. Forceware, synthetic clothes. Alright, <laughs> now that was... Uh, There. All right. So we'll take the minus three over the minus five because we don't want her to be clothed because that might make her sick. All right. Now we've got to find a uh, we got to find a place for her to uh, have some shelter here. And it uh, looks like we have ourselves a little uh, burned out building here already sort of sort of made for us. So I think we're going to migrate into there. So we use that as a as a placeholder here. Um, or as a, as a sort of an initial stomping ground, rather. Or an initial bedroom, I should say. Um, so, yes, I see you. We need to unforbid some of these. Actually, do I want that? That's silver, silver. Silver is kind of like the, uh, the main trading material of the game. Actually, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna have you mine a little bit. Cause so I want some uh I want some uh I want some stone to finish this room rather than wood. How good are you at mining anyway? Mining a three, but you've got passion for it, so you gain uh you gain experience at an appreciable rate. Hello kitty. Okay, uh, so we got to go to Architect, Structure, uh, we want, oh, I guess we have to do it with wood, so I'm not using the data steel. I think stone masonry is what you need to be able to uh, uh, use all that, uh, to use the more advanced stuff. All right, so she's going to run and grab that. Oh yeah, we gotta put in a door. Derp, 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 derp. Kinda need a door to be able to... Alright. Now she's putting a roof on her house. Excellent. Alright, so she's got a place to live. She's not gonna she's not gonna be exposed to the elements, but she needs a bed. Um get a little bed up there. And you know what? How about how about a wooden animal sleeping box for her kitty? There we go. Got it. Got to take care of the kitty. <laughs> Unlike with Dammit and my Stardew uh, playthrough, I'm going to have her uh, take good care of her cat. She's her traveling companion. Steel. You need steel for a bed? Oh, hang on. Let's unforbid all of those so she's got access to. Oh, man. Let's unforbid that. And equip that rifle. So now she's got a weapon to defend herself with. Because, yeah, that's something you're going to be making use of. Um, now, we got to get some of these resources indoors, or else they're going to be bad. Um, and I think, actually, what we can do here is sort of hollow out a. Uh, I'm sure there's an easier way for me. Hollow out a uh, little storage area here. And that way we can put it indoors without having to use too much wood. And that way all the food and the medicine and all that other stuff doesn't go bad from being exposed to the elements. Now, what kind of rock is this? Oops. No, 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 no. We don't want to do that. What is this? Oh, sandstone. That doesn't sound too too gnarly in terms of being being able to mine through it. Yeah, she's getting through it decently well. And she should be uh, building up her mining skill. Yeah, there it is. So, all right. So the way the, the different passions work here is if they are just basically passionate about something, they gain skill normally. If they have a burning passion for something, they gain skill at uh, time and a half. 
And if they have no passion for something, they only gain skill at a one third rate. So they can learn how to do something they don't really care about, but they it really doesn't help them. Um, they have to do a lot of it before they get any good at it, just because they don't care. They can't be bothered to care about it. Alright, got, got a couple of critters walking around here. Wild boar. We can hunt them for meat. What do we got here? Oh, a panther! Ooh, a panther. Please don't eat uh, pilot, please. What do we got? A cassowary. Egg progress, eh? Ooh! I wish if I tame you and get a nice source of eggs coming out of you. Man, there's a bunch more uh, steel here. How, so, how good is her animal handling skill? Uh, animals. One, but she's got a burning passion for it. Interesting. Alright, well she's making herself a bed. That's important. Okay, yes. Now, one other thing we want to get down here. What's going on here? Let's get, um, let's get a growing zone going in here. We want to plant some plants here. Maybe a four by, well, let's make it a four by seven growing zone. And we'll harvest some berries. Oh, no, I don't want to cut those. Get those in there, and then what we'll do is we'll also zone stockpile in here. And we can define what goes in here. So we want we want we only want to care about the, the stuff that needs to be sheltered. So we want food and we want manufactured goods to go in there. We don't want raw resources. Um, yeah, we want those. We don't want body parts in there. We don't want to allow anything rotten. Um, and then I think we need to make another stockpile, a dumping zone, if you will, something like that, just so we can get rid of this junk rock that's in the way here. Now, a lot of the things in this game, and I'm still, I'm still. Uh, Pilot uh, jetted off to the uh, to the bed there. Panther's sleeping, and Chili's taking a snooze as well. Um, one of the things you can do is you can prioritize um, what uh, activities an individual does over other things. And when you have multiple colonists, this becomes more well useful out there. That being said, it's. Um, uh, I'm, I'm still learning the system, so in terms of optimizing this and maximizing the efficiency of it, I'm still working on that. All right, let's fast forward while they snooze. You can take a look at her needs. So her rest is going up, but she's going to be hungry. Urgently hungry, well... She'll know to eat once she wakes up. Oh, no, 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 no. Boom. Food get. All right, now her joy has decreased, so um, she'll randomly go off and do something that makes her happier. So right now she's cloud watching. Um, over time, the more diversity and joy activities you can get. Please don't eat her, Mr. Panther. Thank you. All right, so now that she's back in back in action here, she's going to continue planting. That uh, that uh, that egg laying bird is still down here. I want to try and tame that. I don't know how successful I'm going to be at it though. I'll let her finish uh, planting all this. And actually, I want her to get the stuff indoors. Speaking of doors, uh, structure, wooden door, right there. There we go. Harvesting berry bush. And we got some berries. Some ver very good food to eat. Yum. 
So now she's going to be just auto hauling this and getting all the getting all the junk rock out of there, dumping it in the dump zone that I uh, provided for her. So yeah, this that way this stuff doesn't go bad over time, or well, doesn't go bad as quickly. I'm sure it's pretty hot outside. Yeah, 79 degrees. That food's going to go south pretty quickly. It looks like she's cleaning. All right, where's that bird? Where's that cassowary? See if we can. Oh God, that's an even bigger shelter right up there for us. And there's a couple animals in there. All right. Well, here's what we're gonna do. Um, actually, here, first off, we gotta claim this, so she recognizes it as hers. We're gonna claim this too. And we're going to um, put another warden door here. That's kind of handy right there. Construction failed. Yeah, that's what happens when you have a lower construction skill. Okay, well, there's a... Uh, what do we have trapped in there? Chinchilla. I'll have to think of what to do with that. That actually might become sort of like my, my food and production and other such. Okay, let's see. Where is that... Where's that bird? There's that cassowary. Let's see if you can. Ooh, six in animals. Three percent chance of attacking upon failed. Never mind. Okay. So maybe I can sneak that uh, the egg whenever you lay it. Tame the panther? No, I not not with a one. Tame the cat? <laughs> well, the cat's already tamed. Trainable intelligence, none. Yeah, you can't train cats. They won't listen to you. All right, uh, so we got to get set up some defenses and some power so we can start cooking. Uh, so that's going to require... That's going to require some power. Solar generators. Hmm. All right, let's see here. Make a couple of these. We'll make a couple of batteries to store the power. And then from that, we can uh, start utilizing the power in very uh, helpful and efficient ways. All right, well, let's see what we got. Now nope, she's, she's uh, stargazing. Oh, and sleepy time. Okay, well, fast forward. I am really happy that Panther is not uh, really hell-bent on uh, omnoming her, or Pilot, for that matter. Right, we've got our crops in the ground, so those are going to slowly grow. What is that? An alpaca? Yep, gonna go. Yeah, she's only got so many pre-prepared meals, uh, so we gotta to sort of get that going here. And she's gathering up all the steel that we've got left over from the ship. Building up our solar panel here. Now, obviously, with solar panels, they only work during the day, but that's what the batteries are for. So you can see them starting to charge up here a little bit. So we'll be able to make put make use of that energy. All right. So uh, security. Uh, no, that's not secure. That's furniture. Security. Improvised turret. So one of the things um, in in the traditional Star Wars where you have three people, you don't automatically have uh, turrets uh, researched. But with the single person start, you do. Um, I guess that gives you a little bit of an edge uh, in terms of uh, being able to defend your turf. In turn, and speaking of defending your turf, uh, I need to think of good defensible positions here. What if I put you right? Put you no, that's kind of that's a little too far. 
Let's go right there. And we'll get a... Uh, we'll get a power conduit out to you. Looks like she's taking a chill break here. Yeah, it's very important that you keep uh, keep up on their needs uh, because if their mood ever drops below these thresholds, they have what's called a mental break, uh, where they uh, well have a mental breakdown and bad things happen. Uh, looks like we have some visitors. Group of brothers, Crifford, uh, visiting the colony. They seem to have a few items to trade. Okay. Well, uh, let's see what you got here, guys. Chili trade. Now, what's her social like? Social, eh, not so good. So she's not going to get a very good deal here, but we can always try. All right, they are selling pemmican. Ooh, pemmican's really good. Medicine, nah. beer. You want to buy a beer? Nah. We'll just uh, we'll just buy the pemmican. Yeah, they didn't have much on them, but that's okay. The pemmican pemmican is sort of like a, uh, uh, yeah. It's it's a it's a. Uh, a low-tech way to have preserved food. Um, it doesn't spoil as quickly, but it doesn't require refrigeration. I mean, look at look at this. It spoils in one year and one season. This stuff lasts for a long time. Not forever. It's not a Twinkie. Um, compare that to these berries that I picked, and they spoil in 12 days without refrigeration. And refrigeration is something we don't have yet. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's see here. Let's let's get some of our stuff going up here. We need a stove, a cooking stove. You know, we can put it in her room. That's close enough here. So we've got uh, production. Um, electric stove, there we go. Because you obviously need electricity for that. And we'll get power, power conduits. I don't know if they can go under the plant, so I'll just go around it. I know you can make them go through walls, uh, but I don't know about under plants or not. What is this missing? Steel and components. All right, so... Steel slag chunk. Can we deconstruct that? Probably not. Mm, no, okay. That is not that, but we need to find more components. Now there are some, sometimes components uh, and also steel will jam themselves, yeah, see, they'll jam themselves into the, uh, into the mountains here. So you can just mine them. Uh, compacted machinery. Here it is. Here's what we need for... So we'll uh, mine some compacted machinery. We'll mine some steel. And that'll give us the raw materials we need for all this stuff. Wait, where are you going? Oh, you gotta sleep. Alright, well, that's fine. Yeah, we want to make sure we try and get that turret up before our first attack. And they will come. Foggy rain, alright. Whoa! Uh, the battery is short-circuited in the rain and started... Oh! Okay, so let's not keep batteries 
outdoors. <laughs> I told you I'm still learning this game. Well, at least the brain was there to put out the fire. Yeah? Uh, let's deconstruct these. Actually, no, not, not, uh, let's uninstall, uninstall. Oh, please don't electrocute yourself to death. Um, all right, good, she's repairing those. I'm going to install you here and install you uh, here. And then we'll get some power lines going to there. <laughs> okay. Oops. <laughs> yes. What else you'd expect? Hey, they still have their charge too. All right, well that was fun. This game is still full of surprises for me in terms of what it's hitting me with. And I'm just scratching the surface here. All right, what do we got here? Still needs more steel, still needs more components. All right, so we'll designate more steel tiles here to be mined. And we're still, and we also need all that stuff for, yeah, for all these wires. the turret which is nothing without all these wires unfortunately so yeah we still we are still not out of the out of the uh, out of the rain yet in terms of danger here we are still at risk of an attack oh, no nothing yet we've got to link it up to the batteries because well, it's nighttime now. There it goes. It's online. It's alive. All right. Yes, you. You can sleep well, knowing that you have a turret. Ooh, I like the weather effects here. Batteries seem to be holding out pretty well. What is that? Monkey. All right. Solar panels are coming back online a little bit more. All right. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. We still got to get our cook uh, cooking thing built up here. Still need more steel and components. Well. Yeah, those are still... Uh, Set. We'll mine that out as well. So yeah, this is the downside to only having one person. Because if we had three people, one person could be farting around with building stuff. One another person could be out there mining stuff. And another person could be out, I don't know, hunting animals or something like that. You could get a lot more done a lot quicker. I still don't know what I'm going to do with this. I still have that chinchilla captive. You know, set up a butchering table, make it my first meal since I've already caught it. But first, we got to get a regular uh, cook table up there. And put an, put this electricity to, up to another good use. And what is your cooking skill? Cooking seven. All right, good. Um, if, you're, if their skill's too low, too low, they might give themselves or whoever eats their cooking food poisoning. All right, let's click on bills. I'm going to cook simple meal until we have uh, 20 of them. Now, I think all that she's going to do with that is just use the berries. Ooh, looks like you'll be here a while. Chili thinks you should give this community a name. Should it be called Hura? No. 
Uh, we'll call it, uh... Hmm. Canopy. It's a good name for a jungle. And we got a new visitor who has joined up with us. So now we are no longer alone. She is a nurse. Ah, oh, hello, nurse. <laughs> hello, nurse. Wooden mace. Sorry, so she's carrying a... She's got a weapon on... Whoa. So she will not fight or... She's a nurse that, ref that but, but she's a nurse that refuses to give medical attention or be, what the hell is wrong with you? Doctor. That grown soldier, oh God. So she's a super soldier that turned nurse uh, oh god, what the heck is this? And these are, by the way, uh, uh, randomly generated. Do you have any injuries? You have no injuries. Um, you are steadfast and psychically sensitive. Okay, what do you what do you got? A mace, t-shirt, and some silver and fine meals on you. Uh, welcome to the team, Jen. Um, wow, you just suck. You suck so badly, Jen. I've never seen a character this bad. Like, literally, this is the worst character I have ever seen. Like, I, could, I couldn't make a worse character because of the contradictory backstory stuff. <laughs> oh, Jen. What am I going to do with you? Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to feed you, and that's a downside. Um, Boomalope, eh? Hmm. You know what? I think we're better off being a... I think we're better off being alone for now, at least for Jen's sake, anyway. So, Jen, uh, welcome to the colony. You see those Boomalopes over there? Yeah, uh, they're... They're, they're, uh, they're threatening us. Uh, go take care of it for us and you can join our colony. Okay. Let us... Oh, she's incapable of violence. God dang it! How am I supposed to put her in, the, in harm's way? I mean, uh, test her... Uh, test her allegiance to the colony! <coughs> well, at the very least, she'll haul. So yes, you will be used for hauling, you contradictory nightmare. All right, looks like she is cooking away at those berries. Making some simple meals. Excellent. Let's um let's get a uh, let's get a good stockpile, like like a raw material stockpile. Just so we can have it handy and nearby. 6 by 6 or or more. Okay, why not? Oh, that's the dumping zone. Never mind. No, we want we want a real stockpile, please. And you, we don't want food or manufactured or items or weapons or apparel. We do want all those other things, though. So that way we can bring all of our raw goods to the area here. That way we have we have a better idea of exactly what we've got going for us. Looks like they're chatting each other up a little bit, even though leader's death? What? Oh. I was about to say it's like not my leader! Chili's still alive and kicking. There's no, what, what, what's out there to kill her? I I, I say beckoning uh, or tempting fate. Okay, let's uh, these trees. Let's get some of these trees. We gotta cut some trees down. Chop some wood. Whoop, like that. Jen, is that against your morals and wills or whatnot? Please tell me you are not incapable of. Uh, you can grow. Craft, 
research. Um, plant cut smith. What are you doing anyway? She's sleep. Oh, we don't have a bed for her. Yeah, it's not going to make her happy. All right, let's, here's an idea. Let us get, let's get ourselves structure, wooden wall. Let's cut this, no, no, oops, just click. We'll cut this room in half. That, wooden door up here. And then we'll build a bed. Here. And then we'll make the other bedroom here. And then we'll make this area part of the like kitchen, store, house, everything thing. I'm saving. Oh, Jen. You are such the useless colonist. Okay, oh, yeah, so let's um, uninstall. And then we'll install here. care of that. Now one other thing. Oh yeah, we can uninstall and, re and reinstall down here. And then we'll put the butchering table in here. Production uh, butcher table. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, ho, hey, ho! Raid time! A group of pirates from Power Pack have arrived nearby. They are attacking immediately. Watch out, they appear to be unusually clever with their tactics. And by they, I mean one guy. What's he got? A uh, wooden club and melee attacking a wooden door. Oh no! Well, that's slightly annoying because my turret ain't gonna do jack. Um, Chili, you might need to just need to shoot him because you kind of have a gun. Um, this Jen, Jen's a pacifist super soldier. Unless he's going for a different wooden door. What is your shooting skill, Chili? Actually, not bad. All right, we're going to draft you. I'm going to tell you to go here. When you draft them into the, uh, well, to the army, I guess, or the military, rather, uh, you directly control them. Actually, let's put you right here so you have some semblance of cover. Draw him out and then maybe fall back and draw him into the turret. Oh, you don't have line of sight there. Oh, maybe, uh, all right, fine. If you're going to go that way, I was, that's where I was going to draw you out anyway. So yeah, let's, uh, let's meet down here. There we go. Gotcha! An enemy has in, been incapacitated. You can capture them. Well, now let's see. Is this guy worth um, actually trying to uh, trying to, to recruit? So basically, once you've taken an enemy down, you can take them prisoner, or you can just let them die. 
Um, if you take them prisoner, you have a chance of being able to convince them to actually join your, your colony properly. So let's take a look at him. Oh my god, I am glad he did not get into melee with us. Holy crap! Yeah, see, you're a soldier that went on to be soldier. Not, well, holy crap! Holy crap! So now, see, now look at this, and he's the 12 with animals! So he's, he's the gentle giant that carries the gigantic club. Um, the antithesis of Jen. Yeah, he can't be social and he can't do doctory things, but that's okay. Um, cause, yeah, you, you will keep us safe. So, we need to, we need to come up with a bed for him. Alright, he'll, here's what we're gonna do. Structure, wooden wall, wooden door subdivide here yeah I know they're gonna be a little cramped and probably complain about that but then we can get uh, we get beds in here we'll get a uh, we'll, we'll basically be a prisoner's bed slash medical bed and then when he comes to uh, comes over to our side uh, uh, an actual Hopefully he does not wake up. Um, actually, for now, just for security purposes, um, why are you making out of steel? Um, for the moment, we will make it. Uh, we'll put in a sleeping spot here. And four prisoners. And Chili, you, um, uh, capture him. This little, this little lady carrying this big old unconscious brute, dragging him through the dirt here. It's like, oh, oh god, this guy. But he's already more useful than freaking Jen. I guess they see I die. All right, Cray, what is your uh, for prisoner use and for medical use? What is your uh, what is your malfunction? Uh, oh my god, we shot him in the heart. <laughs> oh, you are not going to die. Or you're not going to live, I should say. I should have checked that before I captured you. Blood pumping very poor. Yeah, because we shot you in the heart! Uh, I don't even think Big McLarge here, huge here, is going to be able to survive that. We'll undraft you. Um, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just strip him of his, uh, clothing and other goods. What are you doing? She's tending to Cray. Oh, she's actually, she's actually trying to, she's trying to treat him. It's like, no, don't you die on me. Don't you die on me. I might not be a doctor, but I can pretend to be one. What do we got here? Poor result. Uh, you might die anyway. Well, she's got the med kits for it anyway. Um, poor result. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a... Uh, he might just be a walking cripple. Let's see if she can make it happen. Poor result. At least she's stopping the bleeding. And they're using up most of our... Oh, well. 
He's still in extreme pain, naked on the floor. What the heck? Um, I hear something savage being done to pigs. Uh, what are we missing for that steel? Well, if you didn't make the damn beds out of steel, you might have some more to go around. Go mine that. You need more of it. Both these. Quit being idle. Oh, I don't know if this guy's gonna make it. <laughs> Poor bastard. We don't even have a bed, a proper bed for him. He's no longer incapable of walking, but man. I don't think he's going to go anywhere anytime soon. Still in severe pain. Wait, did the turret get him at all? These are all from the charge rifle. Like, holy crap, Chili, you're a better shot than you give yourself credit for. Poor Chili, why? Jen, get the F out of there. Jen, you do not deserve that. You are the useless. Oh, this stuff's starting to heal up. Get out of the rain, Chili. You are not going to be a happy camper. I don't want to try it. Well, she's going to feed him. Yeah, just jam a sandwich down his throat. That'll make him feel better. Yeah, now you build the bed. Well, he is up and about anyway. Research bench. Yeah, that's a whole other part of the game right here. Is researching stuff, and there's a ton of it. Absolute ton of it. Well, I was uh, against all odds. This guy seems to be back in fighting shape. Wow. Did not think that was going to happen, but he he managed to bounce back. Does he have some sort of like... Yeah, he's... He's just too good to pass up. So I think we, uh, we'll put a cut here. Um, well, actually, yeah, this, is, this, uh, this has been Pinstar Plays uh, Room World. So obviously, um, I have a lot more learning to do. Like, how do we recruit this guy? But learning I will do, because I am absolutely loving this game. Um, so let me know in the comments if you want to see a full strategy and tactics series of this game. Because while I'm nowhere near ready to do strategy and tactics for it now, I do intend on playing this game obsessively and learning it and mastering it and bringing it to you guys in the uh, unique way I have. And I actually kind of have an idea, a way to utilize the custom scenario creator 
just sort of, uh, well, I'm not going to reveal anything, but if you guys are curious enough, we can make a unique scenario that uh, well, rewards some of the longer term viewers of the game, of, of my other series is, uh, with, uh, with some continuity goodness. Uh, so if you like this episode, you like this video, you like this game, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always uh, welcome. So until next time, this has been Penny Star, signing out. See ya.